Hey everyone, this is a quick review of the Segway 9Bot E22 electric scooter. So I'm going to cover what you can expect as far as range, speed, charge times, and then cover the features this thing has. The controls on the handlebar are really simple. You've got go and stop. So you've got to kick a little bit to get going first, so you've got some forward momentum, and then this will kick on the powered wheel in the front. This thumb switch right here is your regenerative braking, so you can slow down and it actually adds a little bit more power to the battery using the motor. And of course, this wouldn't be complete without a bell. The display right here shows you your speed in either kilometers per hour or miles per hour. You can change that using the Bluetooth app. It also gives you your battery status with five indicator bars. It does not flash like this like you're seeing in the video. It's just the refresh rate of the camera that's causing that flicker. The deck on this is a nice silicone rubbery feeling material, as are the handlebars. They provide plenty of grip for standing on and gripping. There's also an integrated kickstand for this and it folds up really compactly. To fold this up, you just step on this little bit, push the handlebars forward, and fold the handle down. It locks into place on the wheel guard back here. To unfold it, it's just the opposite procedure. You push down on this wheel guard, pick up on the handlebars, and it snaps into place. While you're riding, you can also flip this catch up out of the way so you can't step on it accidentally. The charging port has a little cover right here. It just plugs right in there. This is front wheel drive. These are dual density rubber tires. They've got plenty of grip uh, and they handle really well. The wheels have excellent bearings on them as well. They'll just keep spinning and spinning once you've got up to speed. Getting the hang of riding this thing is really simple. Uh, it's pretty natural feeling. I recommend wearing a helmet while you're getting used to it. After just a few laps around my block, I was pretty confident riding this. I've only fallen off of it once ever, and that's because I was looking over my shoulder at traffic, uh, and I just ended up running along beside it, didn't wipe out or anything. So the 12 mile per hour top speed is manageable if you do fall off. Uh, it's not like some of the faster ones where you're really gonna wipe out if you fall off the scooter. Top speed on this thing is around 12 miles per hour, depending on rider weight and the slope that it's on. It's got plenty of power to go up hills. You will slow down a little bit. If you give it one or two kicks just to help it along, that goes a long way towards accelerating. On the flat and level or going downhill, this thing has a ton of torque. I have hit up to 18 miles an hour on this going downhill. And honestly, I don't think I'd wanna go much faster than that. This is front wheel drive. The motor is in the hub, so that it's very efficient as far as setup goes. This does have regenerative braking as well if you use the brake on the handlebars. And if you have an emergency situation where you need to brake and it's not braking fast enough with that, you can always stomp on the back wheel well right here and it'll slow you down manually. This thing has a ton of great safety features for riding at night too. It has a built-in headlight here in the front, which you turn on just by hitting the power button. And then in the back, you've got actual brake lights and a reflector uh, that work really well to help cars see you on the road. And when you hit the regenerative braking button on the handlebars, the brake lights actually flash too. So I took this out to test the range on it. I went five miles and a half hours, so that's averaging 10 miles an hour with this, up and down fairly hilly terrain, uh, and it got down to a 30% battery in that span. So I'd expect to be able to get at least seven miles out of this in range with me being a 150 pound rider. If you're lighter, you get farther range than that. If you're a little bit heavier, you'll get a little bit less range than that. You can also buy a battery pack that sits on the post on the upright here that will extend your range as well. I found the easiest way to store this is by the handlebars on a wall hook. And while it's up there, you can also charge it. This comes with an included charging brick. It just plugs right into the neck of the Segway and I can hang mine up on the wall and plug it in to charge. It charges in about two and a half to three hours from completely empty to completely full. Uh, so definitely during the span of a work day, you can charge it back up and be ready to go home in the evening. Once you're at your destination, you can flip the whole thing up on its wheel and use the handlebars to wheel it around so you don't have to carry it. It's fairly lightweight at 30 pounds, but it's just a lot easier to do it this way. Assembly on this thing is really straightforward. You really just have to put the handlebars on and that's about it. It's just six screws and they have an included Allen wrench that comes with it. So overall, I think this is a fantastic little scooter. If you're doing last mile commuting with it, it's a great option. You can fold it up and wheel it into your office, no problems, and it doesn't take up much space. Plus, it's also just a lot of fun to ride around the neighborhood, whether you're trying to keep up with your kids or riding for your own enjoyment. So thanks for watching, and if you like this review, I've put an affiliate link in the video description that you can check out for pricing.